now we will talk about the difference between all the modes of transportation so we have seen that there are five modes of transportation the first is road then second is rail third is air fourth is sea and fifth is pipeline transportation now let's talk about the key usage or main usage of each of the transportation so road transportation is mainly used for door to door delivery rail transportation is mostly used for domestic continental and intercontinental deliveries in case of air transportation the main usage is to ensure fastest transportation of a product from one location to another location in case of sea transportation major usage is to transport bulk shipments from one location to another and pipeline transportations are used to transport gas and liquid content or liquid material from one place to another place now what are the advantages of each of these transportations road transportation is very much flexible and it is one of the best method to have door to door delivery from one place to another place in case of rail transportation it is very good for heavy goods and for a long distance and rail transportation is more environment friendly compared to all other transportation modes in case of air transportation air transportation is very much fast and safe mode of transportation compared to other modes and it is best transportation mode for perishable goods or when there is a need of urgency of particular products in case of sea transportation the major advantage is it is ideal for heavy goods or heavy shipments Another best advantage is there are standardized container sizes across the world and another advantage of sea transportation is it is very low in terms of cost as compared to all other modes of transportation as far as pipeline transportation is concerned the advantages are the pipeline can be built above the ground or even under the ground or even under the water The best advantage for pipeline is maintenance and operations cost are very much low and it provides steady and constant supply which minimizes losses and also it minimizes the delay in transportation. As far as cost is concerned the road transportation cost is low the rail transportation cost is medium and air transportation cost is always on a higher side as compared to all other transportation modes. sea transportation costs are very low as compared to other transportation modes and even pipeline transportation cost is as similar as rail which is medium cost now as far as volume is concerned road transportation can carry low volume rail can carry higher volume air transportation also carries lower volume now sea transportation can carry very high volume as compared to all other modes of transportation in terms of pipeline the volume is also medium now what are the disadvantages of all these modes so road transportation mode is limited to intercontinental regions and hence it is not usually used for a long distance transportation one of the biggest disadvantage of road transportation is congestions and road damages has a direct impact on deliveries with the customer on top of that one more disadvantage is there are high complaints of damage of the shipments in the road transportation now one of the disadvantages of rail and air transportation is they usually need multimodal transportation because they cannot have door to door delivery possibilities in any case now as far as sea transportation is concerned the major disadvantage is longer lead times slow speed and it also needs multimodal transportation in most of the cases now as far as pipeline transportation is concerned the major disadvantage is the security of pipeline transportation is very difficult in case of accident in case of pipeline damages or in case of terrorist attacks the pipeline transportation can create harmful environment another disadvantage of pipeline transportation is the cost for initial setup of a pipeline is always on a higher side so this talks about all the modes of transportation and their differences so the key takeaways from these differences the first is road transportation is very much useful for door to door delivery 
air transportation can be only preferred for urgency and perishable goods sea transportation is much widely used global transportation model for bulk shipments as far as cost of transportation is concerned air transportation ranks on a higher side while sea transportation costs are always on a lower side now as far as volume is concerned air transportation and road transportation can carry lower volume but sea transportation can carry higher volume as compared to all other transportation modes so these are the key takeaways of these modes of transportation and hence choosing right mode of transportation considering nature of product considering urgency considering cost is very much important for an organization